Okay, so now we have a way to upload our documents and also read the contents of the documents. The next thing I want to do is actually just reset our database because we uploaded a couple of files early on that we weren't reading the body of, so they're actually of no use to us. So over in my command line, I'm just going to refresh the database. I'm going to do that by calling sale artisan migrate colon refresh. And if you're not using sale, then just call PHP directly here. And that rolls back all of our migrations. So we'll have to create a new user again and upload some documents. So I'm going to quickly do that now. I'm going to pause the video. And also you do the same. Create a new user and re-upload some documents. Okay, so I've created a user again and I've uploaded 11 documents. And these were all just text files with a couple of paragraphs from the Laravel documentation in them. So nothing too fancy. Now let's just change our pagination number from one to something a little bit more sensible. So over in our document controller and coming down to the index method, let's change from paginate one to paginate five. Give this a quick refresh and then you can see now the documents and we can paginate through them. Okay, perfect. Now let's just take a quick look at the database. You can see there now all my documents have been uploaded, but more importantly, we have access to the contents of each of those documents in this body column here. Now I'm going to install Laravel Scout. And Laravel Scout gives us a nice interface for interacting with a search engine of our choice. So in this series, I am going to be using Melee Search. And in the earlier videos, I showed you how to set this up with Laravel Sale. You can also install it independently. You don't have to do it through Laravel Sale if you don't want to. And also, if you're not used to Laravel Sale or Docker in general, there are other options that you can use. If you head over to the Laravel Scout documentation, you can see Laravel currently has direct support for two services. So it's got the Melee Search and also Agola. And the goal is an API driven one, so you can create an account with them. And I believe there is a free account as well. So if you don't want to be messing around setting things up on your system, you can actually just create an account over there and plug into that API directly. But Laravel Scout also has drivers for things like Elasticsearch, Think Search, and also something called TNT Search. So if you do want to set up something locally on your local system, but you don't want to go setting something up as complex as Elasticsearch or Melee Search, then I recommend you take a look at TNT Search because this is a PHP driven search engine and it uses SQLite. So as long as you've got PHP and SQLite installed, then you can use that and you can use the Laravel Scout driver for TNT Search. Whichever one you choose, the code I'm going to be showing you will work exactly the same with all of them. It's just some come with some more advanced features, but I won't be going over these in this video anyway. So over in our terminal, let's get Scout installed. So I'm going to do a sale composer require, and I'm going to require Laravel forward slash Scout. Now, once that's installed, we just need to publish the service provider. I'm just going to clear my screen here so it's easier for you to read. And I'm going to do a sale artisan vendor colon publish. I'm going to publish a provider that's equal to Laravel backslash scout backslash scout service provider. And that copies over our Laravel scout config into our project. OK, so now we need to let the document model know that it's now searchable. And by adding this trait, Laravel knows if we're going to be searching to use the Laravel Scout search driver instead. Let's load that up. So over in project and I'm coming under app models and I'm opening up our document model. So at the top of the file, let's bring that in. So I'm going to say use and I'm going to say Laravel backslash scout backslash searchable. And then in use here, I'm going to do a comma after has factory and I'm going to say this is searchable. Now this lets Laravel Scout know that everything in this model, we want it to be searchable. Okay, so that's Scout installed and set up. Now I'm going to be setting up the Melee Search Scout driver. Obviously at this point, if you're using something else, then check out the documentation for the Scout driver for whatever service you're going to be using. But the actual write process is very similar for each one of them anyway. So back over in my terminal, I'm going to be calling Sale Composer and I'm going to require in the melee search forward slash melee search hyphen laravel hyphen scout 
now I have that driver installed, let's publish the config. So I'm just pressing up on my keyboard because it's a similar sort of command to this. So we're going to do a sale artisan vendor publish provider. And this time the provider is our melee search scout. And then it's our melee search service provider. And then on the end here, I've spelt melee wrong there. Just notice the knee on the end. Now on the end, I'm going to say hyphen hyphen tag, and I'm going to set this equal to the config. Now we we'll just run on that, and that copies the default melee search config over into our local project. Now because I'm using EMV on dev, we just need to check a couple of settings in our EMV file to make sure they are correct. So over in the root of our project, let's come down to .emv. You can see here this has been doubled up. And this is because Laravel Sale put this in here by default. And also when we installed the package, it tagged it on the end. But we only need one of these, so let's just delete one of them. And you can see there the scout driver we're using is Melee Search. And the host for the Melee Search is on port 7700. So one more thing we need to add for Melee Search, and that is the Melee Search underscore key. And I'm just setting this to the default of master key. But obviously in production, you'll want to use something different here. And then that's all the configuration that we actually need to use for this. Now, if you're not using Melee Search and use something else, there might be some extra configs here that you might need to add, but just check the documentation for the driver that you're using. Okay, so now we've actually made some changes here. You might have to clear your config. So just double check that. So over in... So over in my terminal, I'm just going to clear here so you can read it a little bit better. And I'm going to do a sale artisan config colon clear. And that should clear any cache config. Okay, so now what we want to do is actually index our documents. So because we put that searchable trait on our documents, Laravel Scout now knows to get the data for our documents and put it into a Scout index. Now to do that, it's actually very easy. So if we just type in sale artisan, then we can say scout O on index. And then we just let scout know what we want to index. And we want to index our documents model. So let's just run this. And there you can see it says it's created our index documents. Now, if you're using another driver, the command is exactly the same. Laravel scout extracts all of the calls away. So no matter which driver you're using, you will always run the same commands. Now, the final thing we want to do is tell scout to import our documents so we can say sale artisan scout import and then we just need to let it know the model we want to import we need to put this in quotes i'm going to say app backslash models backslash documents so we want laravel scout to import everything from our document model so let's run this and there you can see it's imported models up to 11 that's the 11 records that we have and the nice thing about using Melee Search, it comes with a little interface for you, so you can actually play around with the indexes. You can head over to localhost port 7700, which is the default if you've not changed it. And you can see here we have a little interface for Melee Search. And you can see here we have our index of documents. And then we have each of our documents in here. So we have the cache document here and the body of it, and so on, for each of our files that we've uploaded. So let's try a search on this now. So I'm just going to scroll down and pick a word out from the body of the validation document. And we can see here we have the word quick start. So I'm going to search for that. So up in the search bar, I'm going to type quick start. And as you can see, as I type, it does a search. So it's narrowed it down to three documents now. It's found inside of three documents the word quick. So we got quickly in the cache file. We got quickly in authentication. And we also have quick start in validation. So let's carry on typing. And we're going to do quick start. And it's saying it's only found one match now, which is our validation document, because our validation document has the word quick start in it. So the nice thing about this little interface is it gives you a bit more of understanding of what's actually happening with Melee Search. And it gives you a bit of a visual representation of what's actually happening. When we add the search command in in a later video so it's showing you the process laravel scout is going through by sending a request to melee search and then you can see the data that's going to be coming back from melee search so in the next video let's actually hook this up to our front end 
So the user can enter a search term into a text input in our application interface, and then we'll use Laravel Scout to search and return the documents that match. If you are enjoying this series, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updates as and when future videos are released on this series. Also, check out the other series on my channel. I have a lot of Laravel related content on there. And remember, this course does come with some extra premium content that is completely optional, and that is over on Udemy. And I'll pop a link in the description with a 60% discount code for the first 100 signups. And you can watch the entire series straight away without any adverts.